Yeah, what up, son? Today, Berserk Kitchen is making low-carb, keto, gluten-free cloud bread, all right? I got this off a recipe from Indigo Neely's channel. Uh, she's got a million, like, low-carb recipes, uh, all kinds of bread. She's got this bread recipe, which I slightly altered, but not much. Uh, you'll probably want to slightly alter it when you're making it, too, to however you like it, right? Uh... But, uh, you know, she's got about, I don't know, 20 or 50 or 100 different versions of this actual recipe. Like, uh, it's, it's crazy. So, uh, check her out and enjoy this bread, which is actually good. Like, I, I, I'm not going to make something unless I think it's actually good. I'll eat a whole loaf of this. I don't care. And, by the way, a whole loaf of this right now, this is uh, 65 grams of protein and 360 calories in the whole loaf so enjoy it baby go ahead and grab all your ingredients you're going to need dried egg white powder allulose salt xanthan gum and either mct oil powder or butter powder and of course you're also going to need water all right first things first man we're going to take our kitchen scale we're going to put our mixing bowl right on the scale and we're going to tear it off to zero and we're going to add 300 grams of water the reason i'm using a gram measurement instead of like a liquid uh, volume measurement is just for consistency uh, of the recipe at all times so after that 300 grams of water zero your scale out we're going to go ahead and add 75 grams dried egg white powder Egg white powder for like protein shakes and all that kind of stuff. Not the same thing. It's not going to whip like egg whites at all. It's just going to make a protein shake and that's not what you're looking to do. Alright, go ahead and zero out the scale. And you're going to add 25 grams of allulose. Now allulose, according to the Cleveland Clinic by way of WebMD has no impact on blood sugar or insulin response and has no calories because it's absorbed by the small intestine and then excreted. So it uh, should be safe for a low-carb diet. So even though there's 25 grams of carbs, this is not carbs that's going to count towards the carbs in the recipe. Up next, you're going to get a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, followed up by half a teaspoon of salt. You don't have to zero your scale for this. It really doesn't weigh anything. You're using a, a volume measure for it, so it doesn't really matter. Cool. Now let's whip this shit up. So what's going to happen is you want to put this bowl in there and you want to lock it in place. It, this is assuming you have a stand mixer. You could also use a hand mixer if you have to, but whatever. The point is, you got to start this Come up. as slow as possible. Because what's going to happen is, if you start it too fast, this f***ing egg white powder is going to be all over the goddamn kitchen. Like Tony Montana's desk in f***ing Scarface when he's doing f*** at the end. It's going to look ridiculous. You don't want to have to clean all that shit up. So just start it slow. And slowly increase the speed until you get to the top speed. I'll leave the video unaltered so you can see how I did it. Let this mother <laughs> beat for about five minutes. It might take a little bit longer, but usually about five minutes is good. Till these egg whites get really stiff peaks. And while it's beating, go ahead and... Uh, actually, even before that, you might want to... Get, have your oven preheated to 350 after five minutes stop it and check it so you're gonna see here when I check it the peaks aren't quite as stiff as I wanted them to be so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up putting it back in for another couple of minutes and uh, see uh, look at that so you can't really tell there but see that one down there and then this one hanging off here is wobbling a little bit there so I'm gonna put it back in for another minute and then I'm gonna add the powder which is gonna add moisture uh, from the fat in the powder to make it the loaf a lot more bread like and less egg like right here's gonna be two tablespoons of butter powder which is Come on! I didn't even know existed until I seen Indigo Neely's channel and she used it so I'm only gonna you don't want to over mix this right so I ended up over mixing it because the goddamn dicking around with the camera trying to like set the shot up right. 
So you can see the volume of his batter like really collapsed. It, even after all that whipping and everything was super stiff, this batter ended up coming out real loose. But the loaf ended up baking up good and it didn't collapse or nothing. So I don't really give a shit. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So just take a minute, flatten this puppy out, make it look nice, throw this bitch in the oven. Put that timer on 35 minutes and then just wait for your bread to break. Bread to bake, so then you can break bread. Damn, look at that. Look how good that shit looks right there. So, uh, pull it out of the oven, throw it on the cutting board, and let it sit and cool for a little while. You don't want to pull it right out of the thing. Once it cools, go ahead, take it out of the, uh, take it out of the bread pan, and peel the parchment paper off. Always line your pan with parchment paper, by the way. But uh, go ahead, peel the parchment paper off, and uh, your bread is done. All right, so just bear with me for a minute. I'm just going to quickly, quickly speed through the process of uh, putting the, using MCT oil. Two tablespoons of MCT oil powder instead of two tablespoons of butter powder. So uh, it's going to be the exact same process. The only difference is going to be how fluffy this batter is going to be as opposed to how flat it was. And then the loaf will end up looking a little bit different at the end, which you're going to see probably right about now. I'm going to speed this up while this loaf cools off, and I pull it out of the parchment paper. The MCT powder one is uh, slightly larger than the butter powder one, but the texture of the butter powder one is going to end up being better. As uh, I let these cool off, and now uh, on the right side here is the butter powder one. The left side is the MCT powder. So you can see here the texture on the one with the butter powder. Much, much more bread-like. The texture on the one with the MCT powder. It's still bread-like, but a little bit less. It's a little has a little bit more of that memory foaminess to it. But uh, overall, it's good. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you, brothers and sisters. Uh, do me a solid if you could. Uh, comment on the video below. Uh, give a like. Give a subscribe, ring the Party. bell for the notifications, uh, check out the other videos, whenever they pop up, and uh, finally, don't be a goddamn communist. Thanks.